In this video, we'll take you through doing the sound checks that will be required to do immediately before every recording that you do for an acoustic analysis of voice. This will involve a few different steps. The first will be, will be to make sure that the softest phonation is detectable on our microphone and sound source. The second step will be to ensure that the loudest phonation is um, being detected and not being clipped off by our microphone and sound source. And then lastly, we'll need to calibrate our sound intensity level readings. So to do this, we'll want to click New, Record New Mono Sound, ensure that our channel, our microphone, and our sampling frequency are selected. We'll select Record. First thing you'll do is look at the middle of the sound recorder window in the sound pressure meter window and look at the background noise indicated in green. So we can see that there is some background noise. In fact, you can probably hear it because I'm doing this tutorial in my apartment, which would not be ideal for recording circumstances. The next thing we want to do is produce the softest phonation possible without making it a whisper and still having actual voicing. This soft phonation should be um, visibly detected above and beyond the background noise. So I'll be quiet for a moment and you'll notice the soft phonation increasing the um, meter readings. Uh, 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 uh. So there we saw visible movement in the meter when I was doing the soft phonation. So we know that this is being detected. This is a good thing. We can then move on to the next step, which is doing loud phonation. What we want to do here is produce a loud voice that's about twice as loud as our habitual speaking volume. We want to make sure that the loudness is not going into the red at the top of the meter. It should be going into the top of the green or in the yellow zone. If it does go into the red, we're going to want to increase the distance between our microphone and mouth and then repeat the soft and loud phonations to ensure that the soft phonation is detected and that the red is um, that the loud is not going to the red. So I'll produce a uh, loud ah that's about twice as loud as my normal speaking volume. Ah. So there we saw it in the top of the green, sometimes going to the yellow. This is a good distance. Again, if this is going to the red, we want to increase the distance so that it's not getting clipped off. Okay, so um, since we've identified the soft and loud phonations are being accurately recorded, we want to document the mic to um, mouth distance. So the distance between the microphone and the mouth. Ideally, this should be around four to 10 centimeters per ASHA guidelines. Um, and regardless of what this distance is, we'll record it in our data acquisition form so we can repeat this for future analyses. You'll also wanna make note of the angle. So the angle from the uh, microphone to the mouth, this should ideally be around 45 degrees if we're using an omnidirectional microphone. The last thing we'll wanna do is calibrate our sound pressure level readings. We do this by using a um, sound pressure level meter. Uh, this can either be an external device or you can use something like a smartphone and the NIOSH app, um, which I'll include a link in this tutorial. Um, and there what we're going to do is uh, position the sound pressure level meter around 30 centimeters in front of our mouth. We'll produce a voicing, we'll make note of what the decibels is on the sound pressure level meter, and we'll compare that with what we're seeing on PROT, and then we'll make those adjustments then for all future measures. So I've got the NIOSH app up on my phone. I've situated the um, my phone about 30 centimeters in front of my mouth, and now what I'm gonna do is sustain a habitual uh, for five seconds, and I'm going to look at the decibel reader and see what, on average, it is uh, uh, measuring. Uh... So I'll stop the recording. On average, that decibel was around 74 decibels on the NIOSH app. Um, or, like I said, a uh, sound pressure level meter. It was 74 decibels. Now I'm going to analyze what it was on PROT. I'm going to click View Edit. Uh, 
I'm going to find that sustained ah, which looks like it might be around here. Uh... I'll zoom in just to make sure I don't have the onset or the offset of that, just getting the middle. And we can see that on average, the decibel being read by Pratt was 69.02. So on average, the, um, the, there's about a five decibel difference between the decibel reader and Pratt. So for all the decibel readings that we are obtaining from Pratt and putting into our data acquisition form, we should be adding five decibels in this case. Certainly you will probably have something different. Um, you'll want to make note of what the difference is and add that difference to all of your ratings. So if this said 65 and your decibel reader said 75, you should be adding 10 to all of your numbers um, if you're using prot. All right, that's everything.